A video recording of the incident captured a heavily tinted white car being driven aimlessly across the football pitch at the Andres Campos compound. It shows the vehicle making sharp turns, presumably on Tuesday night. By morning, the damage was evident. Marks of car tires that went in all directions, but the vandalism was concentrated in the center of the pitch. Administrative officer with the council, Miriam Villamil, told News 5 that this incident has rendered the field unusable for several months. A car came into the compounds and did all sort of donuts and kid around the field and then um, it will take a while before we can use this part of the field for our academy which happens every Saturday morning. It's not safe for the kids. We have kids, uh, six to eight year, eight year old kids. Um, it's not safe for them at the moment. They can easily get a um, twist ankle scrape. But who could have damaged the field and why would they do it? Officials feel this act was nothing less than political vandalism to undermine a sports academy that the Ministry of Sports just began in Corozal and that the minister spoke about publicly only last week. I'm pretty sure that Hola Corozal district know that we have a kids academy every Saturday. So for that person to come in and do something like this, knowing that we have kids activities here, I think that's just really sad and very disappointing. A complaint has been uh, filed at the police station, so I'm just hoping that the law carry out its duty from, from here on. But one person's attempt to ruin a weekend activity is just that, Via Mill says. They will hold the Children's Football Academy at another field. We can't stop the academy. It's something that happens every Saturday. Our kids are registered for this, so we have to continue, but we have to find another space. The other field at the stadium, it's, it's fenced up, it's secured. This is the only one. We don't really have a fence around it. Um, but I'm pretty sure that the, the council and um, will the organization I'm with National Sports Council, we will be working towards getting it fenced up sometime soon. It will take a long time for the pitch to be in suitable condition to play football matches again because new seedlings will have to be replanted, the sports officials said. It's a process because more than likely we will have to replant seeds because we can't use any, any, any kind of grass for it, so we will need to replant that. Again. How long a process does it take? About six months. The Corazal Sports Council will explore the possibility of hiring a watchman at the field to deter future acts of vandalism there. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.